So you want to get video of your 3D printer making its awesome print, but your printer does not have a camera built in. Well, there's a couple of solutions to that issue. You can either buy a very expensive printer with a camera built in, or you can do what we're gonna do right now and put one on our 3D printer. What's awesome about this is that you can use it on pretty much any 3D printer out there. And depending on how you wanna set it up and how permanent you want it to be, you can either do it with absolutely no screws and installation, or you can make it a permanent setup. So it's really up to you. We're gonna do something that's a little uh, more portable, something that's not gonna be set up all the time. So let's get started. So for my printer, I'm gonna be using the Amato Price Select um, Mini 3D printer. It's a really awesome printer and I love it, but it does not have a camera. So let's go ahead and add one to it. So like I said, you can do a more permanent solution. You can take one of the screws off and actually use one of the screw holes in our camera, which we'll talk about in a minute, and mount it there. But what I want to do is I'm going to mount it on a little bit of a stand kind of, and that is going to allow me to move it and angle it a little bit better than I would if I was permanently mounting it onto the printer. And there's really not a great mounting point on my printer, so this is actually gonna work out a lot better. So for my camera, um, I'm using this really tiny um, autofocus, auto exposure 1080p camera. Um, I'll drop a link to it down below if you want to pick it up. I'll show you how it looks in the end of the video so you can decide if it's really good quality or not and you can um, pick one up for yourself. But the thing that's nice about this one is that it's, everything's auto on it so you don't have to worry about um, having great lighting or anything. It'll just do everything automatically. And it's USB so you can plug it into any computer and record time lapse right from there. So um, it's just plug and play, super easy to set up and get working. So let's go ahead and build this thing. So like I said, I'm gonna be using a little bit of a stand and actually, this is actually a picture holder. So like you clip your picture in there, but um, the board is actually thin enough that I can just go ahead and clip the camera right onto the um, picture stand. You just have to make sure that the camera is right side up or else you're gonna have to flip it in post. So that's just something to keep in mind. So then now that we've got it set up, um, we're going to go ahead and plug it into our computer and we can do some more fine tuning with the angling and everything like that. I'm using a Mac, so um, I'm going to be using Photo Booth in order to record. You can get some different time lapse software. Um, I'm just using Photo Booth because it's plug and play. It's a lot easier and simpler. But if I was going to be using this more often, I would definitely go ahead and get a time lapse app. But this is this works fine for me and when I'm editing this video, I can go ahead and speed it up. So it just depends where you want to speed it up afterwards or um, actually have a true time lapse where it takes a picture every certain amount of time. So now all we have to do is just start the print, start recording on um, the computer and go ahead and watch this video. So I actually think it turned out fairly decently other than the fact that my filament broke mid print so you didn't get to see that finish. Um, it was actually pretty good. Next time, I may not actually go for an autofocus camera. Um, it's just a little annoying how it keeps pulling focus every single time that the um, printer head moves in a certain spot. So that may not be the best choice, but you can definitely pick up another camera. The brand that I got, they have a ton of different options. So I'll also drop links down below. So you can pick up um, one of their many other models, but I do love the fact that this is plug and play USB. You can put it into any computer and it will work great. But there you go. That's a really simple and easy way to add a camera to your 3D printer. It works great for time lapse. You can even live stream with it. The, the possibilities are endless, and I'm really excited to be able to have a camera for my 3D printer. If you guys like this video, definitely leave a like and hit the subscribe button for a bunch more videos. This is Mark with Eyeball Tech One Tweet, and I'll see you in the next one.